In today's video, we discuss the top 10 signs that your liver is toxic. Roll the titles. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. As always, just a quick reminder that I'm now offering the SIBO, organic acid, stool tests and consult via my website. So if you have any health or digestive problems, then consider taking these tests as they will provide a lot of very detailed information upon which you can start making informed decisions and then start getting your health back on track. And on that bombshell, to the video. Now, before we jump into the top 10 signs, I'm going to heavily caveat this video and say that these signs are actual signs and symptoms within the medical literature. They are not woo-woo science where your chakras tell you to live off kale or an excuse for you to water fast yourself into the ground. So I had just completed a 21 day water fast. I was feeling on top of the world. I was like, I can do anything. Look what I've done. Actually, I felt like absolute they are not symptoms that tell you you need to juice cleanse, drink urine or follow the medical medium's claims about parasites. And if you consistently have these symptoms, then speak to a suitably qualified medical professional. Now, as many of you will know, your liver is located just under your right rib cage and is about the size of a football. Your liver is the second largest organ in your body behind the skin. Your liver is responsible for everything from digesting food and eliminating toxic substances from your body. Therefore, if your liver is not working efficiently, then it will give you some very common and identifiable symptoms that you should never ignore. So in no particular order, here are the top 10 signs that your liver is toxic. Number one is that your eyes appear yellowish. This is commonly known as jaundice, so jaundice is a condition that can cause the skin and eyes to turn yellow. The yellowing of the eyes is caused by high levels of bilirubin, which is a yellow-orange bile pigment. And bile is the fluid that is secreted in the liver, and bilirubin is produced when red blood cells are broken down. Now, if you have a yellowing of your eyes or skin, then you may also experience fevers, chills, abdominal pains, dark urine, or even clay-colored stools. So if you have any of these problems, then get yourself checked out by a doctor. Number two is that you have a tendency to bruise easily. Now, if your liver is struggling and is very sluggish, then the liver will produce fewer proteins that are very important for blood clotting, which will then make you a lot more susceptible for bleeding and bruising more easily. Now, bruising and bleeding is commonly associated with liver issues for sure, but they can also be caused by certain medications such as aspirin, if you have a bleeding disorder such as haemophilia, or more rarely if you have certain types of cancers such as leukemia. Number three is that your urine is constantly dark, even when drinking sufficient water. Now, dark or brown urine is one of the most common initial signs of hepatitis, and hepatitis is essentially a medical term for an inflamed liver. When you have inflammation to this extent, then your liver can't detoxify the blood correctly, and then this can lead to a buildup of bilirubin in your blood and urine, which in turn can cause the urine to become dark in color. Often when people have inflammation in the liver to this extent, they will also experience symptoms of fever, yellowing of the eyes, joint pains, sandy colored stools, nausea, loss of appetite, fatigue, and very often belly pain. Again, if you have these types of issues and symptoms, then you need to reach out to a medical professional to get checked out. Number four is that you consistently have itchy skin. Now this type of symptom can obviously be caused by things like food intolerances or environmental allergies. But if your liver is not functioning correctly, then this may cause bile salts to build up under your skin, which in many people will cause a lot of itching. Liver issues can also trigger and drive histamine intolerance in some people. Histamine is an important neurotransmitter in the body and the liver plays an essential role in breaking down histamine in your body. So when your liver is struggling and histamine builds up, then you can develop histamine intolerance symptoms such as skin issues and hives, but also things like headaches and dizziness, agitation and anxiety after eating histamine rich foods and also tinnitus for some people. Number five is that you are experiencing swelling in the legs and ankles. Now swelling in these areas is called edema and this can be caused by standing or sitting in the same position for too long, if you are eating too much salt in your diet, if you are overweight or commonly if you are pregnant. Equally though, and coming back to the liver, if your liver is not producing sufficient amounts of the protein called albumin, then you may start to run into swelling issues as albumin helps prevent 
fluid leaking out of the blood vessels and into the surrounding tissues. Therefore, if you are experiencing fluid retention in the legs and ankles, and even in the abdomen, then be sure to get checked out. Number six is that your stools are very pale in color. Now, normal stools tend to vary in shades of brown, depending on the types of foods that you are eating. Pale colored stools are not normal, and they may indicate that you have issues with drainage with your body's biliary system, which encompasses your gallbladder, liver, and also your pancreas. We touched upon bile salts earlier on, but if bile salts are not correctly released into your stools, then your stools will appear pale yellow in color. Also, if your liver is struggling and is not producing sufficient bile, or the flow of this bile is blocked to the gallbladder or from the gallbladder, then your stools will become clay colored in nature. Having these clay colored stools every now and again is perfectly normal, and most people will experience this, but if this is happening multiple times a week or daily, then be sure to get checked out. Number seven is that you are experiencing a lot of consistent nausea. Now again, nausea is one of those symptoms that can be caused by so many different things, ranging from overeating, bowel obstructions, all the way through to ulcers and conditions such as gastroparesis, which is essentially a condition where your stomach doesn't empty at the correct rate and food becomes stagnant. Nausea and a consistent unsettled stomach are also typical symptoms when the liver is having issues, and this is typically caused as your liver's ability to eliminate toxins through stage one and two detoxification is decreased, which in turn can cause digestive distress such as nausea. Number eight is that you are chronically fatigued. Now you may be anemic, you may have thyroid issues, you may not be getting sufficient sleep, or you may not be taking on sufficient fluids. But equally, in some people, problems in the liver can cause chronic fatigue. Now, while the mechanisms and underlying pathogenesis in liver problems is largely poorly defined, it does appear that signaling between the brain and liver is impacted, as well as mitochondrial function in some. So if you are constantly getting out of bed feeling drained, or you are hitting a brick wall after eating lunch, despite eating a healthy diet, then you should probably get checked out. Number nine is that you're experiencing a lot of abdominal pain and also swelling. Now again, I don't need to tell you that IBS, gas and bloating, infections in the gut, poor diet, and also physical defects in the digestive tract can all cause abdominal pain and swelling, along with a whole list of other issues. Not many people though would connect the dots to liver problems in some. Now your liver is responsible for over 500 jobs in your body, from digesting food to clearing out toxins from your blood. If your liver is put under particular pressure and it has experienced hepatic injury due to alcohol, poor diet, medications, parasites, infections, then inflammation can ensue, and this inflammation can cause the liver to swell and subsequently cause abdominal pain or swelling in the abdomen. Number 10 is that you consistently experience brain fog. Now there are a number of common problems that will cause brain fog, such as gut issues, a lack of sleep, stress, nutritional deficiencies, and also viral infections. Clearly, if your liver is struggling to remove toxins from your body, and these toxins are not broken down in your detoxification pathways, and then are recirculated around your body, then in some, this can cause increased levels of brain fog. Symptoms will range from poor concentration, feeling confused consistently, thinking very slowly, struggling to remember your words, as well as having mental fatigue. So if you have or are consistently experiencing any of the symptoms listed in this video in any combinations, then please get checked out. Often these types of issues can be dealt with fairly quickly, but if you leave the problems to snowball, then further down the line, you may experience more significant health problems as a consequence. So that's the end of today's video. If you enjoyed this video, then be sure to check out this one up here because I'm sure you'll find it equally interesting. And the only other thing that's left for me to say is to remember to look after your body because it's the only place you have to live. And I'll see you next time.